What? That is the sweetest thing. If you movie viewers and TV buffs love romance as much as we do, you'll agree that listening to romantic dialogues is one of the best ways to practice English. But if every love story was exactly the same, it would make learning English pretty boring, wouldn't it? Lucky for you, we've rounded up a list of our top 9 original and unique love dialogues to help you learn English. In this video, you'll find some typical love stories, but you'll also find some pretty hilarious and strange expressions of love. Can you understand what the characters are talking about through these idioms and quirky phrases? And does your favorite TV or movie couple make our list? Pop some popcorn, find a friend or a romantic interest, and get ready to find out while having some English learning fun. Also, don't forget, if you like this video and never want to miss any fun language learning videos that we post, click the red subscribe button below and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time we put out new content. Now let's get into the video. Worlds apart. Number 9. Notting Hill The first romantic movie on our love list is the critically acclaimed Notting Hill, starring Julia Roberts and Hugh Grant. In this classic romance, a perfectly average bookshop owner, Will Thacker, falls deeply in love with famous American movie star Anna Scott. Despite having radically different lives and experiences, which sometimes gets in the way of their romance, the two must decide if their love is worth pursuing. I live in Notting Hill, you live in Beverly Hills. Everyone in the world knows who you are. My mother has trouble remembering my name. Fine. Fine, good decision. Good decision. The fame thing isn't really real, you know. And don't forget, I'm also just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. Did you understand everything that the actors were saying in that clip? If you had any trouble figuring it out, Fluent U can help. With Fluent U, you can learn English from a wide range of videos, from music videos to TV shows like the ones in this video, plus film trailers, commercials, and more. Fluent U will help you have more fun and learn faster, all while learning English through videos. And it'll save you lots of time with its interactive captions. You can actually stop the video you're watching at any time to tap on a word and look it up. On top of that, you won't have to search for how the word is used because you'll be able to instantly see examples from other videos too. Fluent U even has a video dictionary so you can look up almost any word that you're curious about. And that's not all. With quizzes and spaced repetition, you'll be able to dissect and master videos that seem too tough to understand right now. If you like learning English through videos, then you'll love Fluent U. Be sure to click the link in the description box below for your free Fluent U trial. Do you think it's easy? Number 8, Friends. The next romance scene on our list is from the hilarious American sitcom called Friends. For those of you who haven't seen the iconic show before, Friends follows the lives, adventures, and mishaps of six young adults who are best friends living in New York City. Ross Geller, who is played by David Schwimmer, and Rachel Green, who is played by Jennifer Aniston, are one of the most famous and beloved TV couples of all time. With their constant on-again, off-again, complicated relationship, the couple has many misunderstandings, arguments, and romantic reconciliations. Even through all of their ups and downs, the couple still manages to prove that true love can conquer any break. Check out this example of their unusual love language with Ross, Phoebe, and Chandler. What does he want with her? Well, I'm guessing he wants to do a little dance. <laughs> you know, make a little love. And... Well, pretty much get down tonight. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get. I don't get it. I mean, like two months ago, Rachel and I were like this close. Right now, what? I'm taking messages from guys. She she meets at the movies. I mean, this this Casey should be taking down my messages, you know? Or or Rachel and I should be together, and, and we should get some kind of message service. Hang in there. It's gonna happen. Well, okay. Now, how do you know that? Because she's your lobster. Oh, she's going somewhere. Come on, you guys. It's a known fact that lobsters fall in love and mate for life. 
And you know what? You can actually see old lobster couples walking around their tank, you know, <laughs> holding claws. Like... The weapon of the enemy. Number seven, The Lord of the Rings. The next love story is from the hit fantasy adventure movie called Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Maybe at a first glance, you wouldn't think of The Lord of the Rings as a romance movie, but this trilogy truly has it all. Action, suspense, and of course, romance. Though there are plenty of intimate moments throughout all three movies, there is something especially beautiful about the love story of Eowyn portrayed by actress Miranda Otto and Faramir portrayed by actor David Wenham. Their love truly grows as they recover from a difficult battle as seen in the next scene. The city has fallen silent. There is no warmth left in the sun. It grows so cold. It's just the damp of the first spring rain. I do not believe this darkness will endure. Number six, The Princess Bride. The sixth romance scene on our list is from the 1987 cult classic, The Princess Bride, with actors Robin Wright and actor Carrie Elwes. In this fairy tale adventure, the beautiful young Buttercup and her true love, Wesley, are separated. While Wesley is trying to save Buttercup after the separation, Buttercup is led to believe that her love, Wesley, has been killed by pirates. Luckily, however, he manages to survive the pirate attack and comes to her rescue when she's kidnapped. Watch this next scene to see the very unique dialogue they have after being reunited. Can you move at all? Move? You're alive. If you want, I can fly. I told you I would always come for you. Why didn't you wait for me? Well, you were dead. Death cannot stop true love. All it can do is delay it for a while. I will never doubt again. That is Mr. Darcy. Number five, Pride and Prejudice. The next movie on our list is also a famous and timely drama called Pride and Prejudice. In Pride and Prejudice, Matthew McFadden, who plays the charming Mr. Darcy, must fight for Kira Knightley's character, Elizabeth Bennet's affection. In this classic novel turned movie, family pressures, Rumors and miscommunications cause some unpleasant mishaps, but in the end, the two can't ignore their feelings and desire to be together. Be sure to listen carefully in this upcoming scene, as this drama was set in the Georgian era, so the language may be harder for you to understand at first. How can I ever make amends for such behavior? After what you have done for Lydia, and I suspect for Jane also, it is I who should be making amends. You must know. Surely you must know, it was all for you. You are too generous to travel with me. I believe you spoke with my aunt last night and it has taught me to hope, as I had scarcely allowed myself before. If your feelings are still what they were last April, tell me so at once. My affections and wishes have not changed, but one word from you will silence me forever. If, however, your feelings have changed, I would have to tell you. You have bewitched me, body and soul, and I love and love and love you. I never wish to be parted from you from this day on. By the way, if you found any of those words, phrases, or metaphors difficult to catch or to understand, don't worry. You can get a free PDF including the movie description, dialogue quotes, and YouTube link for this movie and more by simply clicking the link in the description box below. The PDF also contains other information that we don't cover in this video and more movie and TV couples with their love dialogue scenes broken down and listed for further language learning. Now let's get back to our list. I have it all figured out. Number four, When Harry Met Sally. The fourth movie on our love list is a fan favorite and one with quite famous actors that you've probably seen before. This movie from the late 80s is called When Harry Met Sally and stars the popular pair Meg Ryan and Billy Crystal. In the movie, Harry and Sally are two very different people who make an unlikely couple. After meeting at random and continuing to bump into each other through later stages of their lives, 
An argument over whether or not a man and a woman can be friends turns into feelings that they never expected. Watch the scene on how they finally end up falling for each other and the unique choice of phrasing Harry chooses to express his love for Sally. Sorry, Harry. I know it's New Year's Eve. I know you're feeling lonely, but you just can't show up here. Tell me you love me and expect that to make everything all right. It doesn't work this way. Well, how does it work? I don't know, but not this way. How about this way? I love that you get cold when it's 71 degrees out. I love that it takes you an hour and a half to order a sandwich. I love that you get a little crinkle above your nose when you're looking at me like I'm nuts. I love that after I spend a day with you, I can still smell your perfume on my clothes. And I love that you are the last person I want to talk to before I go to sleep at night. And it's not because I'm lonely, and it's not because it's New Year's Eve. I came here tonight because when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. The first time we met, we hated each other. No, you didn't hate me. I hated you. The second time we met, you didn't even remember me. I did, too. I remembered you. The third time we met, we became friends. What if I reverse time? Number three, The Theory of Everything. This heartbreaking scene is from the film The Theory of Everything. This historical drama tells some of the true life stories from Stephen Hawking's life, with Hawking's character being played by actor Eddie Redmayne. After Jane Wilde, portrayed by Felicity Jones, confesses her love, the two must try to build a relationship through an extremely difficult time. Their love only becomes more difficult when Hawking discovers that he has an incurable disease and very little time left to live. Now, watch Hawking's reaction to Wilde's persistence and her unusual declaration of love and solidarity. Leave me now. Are you going to talk about this or please not? Please, just go. Is that what you want? Yes, it is what I want, so please, if, if you care about me at all, then please just go. I can't. I have two years to live. I need to work. I love you. you, you, that, you you've leapt to a, that's a false conclusion. I want us to be together for as long as we've got, and if that's not very long, well, then that's just how it is. Psst. This video, along with many others, are also available on Fluent U. You may have noticed that Hawking's character was stuttering a bit in that clip, so if you didn't catch all of the words in that last scene, that's okay. On Fluent U, you can access a full transcript of the movie, a vocabulary list, a comprehension quiz, and tons of other features on the platform. Now, let's find out our final two scenes from our favorite love dialogues list. From the Brothers Warner comes a fairy tale. Number two, a Cinderella story. This passionate scene from the next flick is very easy to follow, and it's from the teen romance A Cinderella Story, starring Hilary Duff and Chad Michael Murray. In this modern-day retelling of the classic fairy tale, Sam meets Austin, her Prince Charming, through texts and emails. However, it's not all smooth sailing, as when they finally find out who they've been texting, they also realize that they are from two different walks of life. After Sam tells Austin she can't wait for him any longer because... Because waiting for you is like waiting for rain in this drought. Useless and disappointing. Austin must prove to Sam that he cares enough about her to stop caring what other people think and be true to himself. Check out their dramatic kiss and his response to her rain simile in this adorable scene. Sorry, I waited for the rain. It's okay. We've been dating for over a year now, and I think it's about time people met my beautiful girlfriend. Number one, crazy rich Asians. Like Queens? Singapore, Colin's wedding. 
So finally, the last of our scenes to learn English is also from the most recently filmed movie on our list. This heartwarming scene from the Hollywood hit Crazy Rich Asians. In the movie, Rachel, played by Constance Wu, doesn't realize how rich her boyfriend Nick's family is. That is, until she goes with Nick, played by Henry Golding, to visit his family in Singapore. This movie is filled with tension, embarrassment, and awkwardness, which has the audience wondering, can their love survive family differences? Watch the end scene of this charming romantic comedy to find out whether the couple believes their love is worth fighting for, and how Nick makes his profession of love one of our favorite unique love dialogues. Nick, what are you doing here? I'm flying back to New York with you. Don't make this harder than it already is. I always imagined what me proposing to you would be like. You know what? I had it all planned out. Oh, yeah, right behind you. Don't mind me. I'd bring you to my favorite spot on the island. There's a hidden trail that I used to go to as a child. Now, there's a cove there that opens up to this beautiful lake. Um, sorry, dude. Give me a second. <laughs> when the sun hits the horizon, I get down on one knee. And the rest of the world would fall away because it would just be you. And, sorry, I can help you with that. That's why I stay there. Yay. You too? Everybody okay? Because I just need 30 seconds with this woman. Oh, coming through. Sorry. I know this is a far throw from a hidden paradise. But wherever you are in the world, that's where I belong. But I... Rachel Chu. Will you marry me? Now that you've heard some of our favorite quotes and seen some of our favorite Hollywood couples falling in or back in love, you can keep up your studying by finding your own favorite love dialogues in English and letting us know some new ones in the comments down below. Watching movies and TV shows is a great way to practice your English pronunciation and conversation skills. And learning a new language should be fun, so what are you waiting for? Did you enjoy our video on our top 9 unique love dialogues from movies and TV? Did you agree with our picks? Leave a comment below to let us know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the red subscribe button so you can watch more great videos and keep learning with Fluent U. And make sure to click the link in the description box to get your free Fluent U trial so you can watch more videos like these ones and test out all the interactive features for yourself. See you in the next video!